is a show that focuses on the person behind the brony. I'm your host, Osaka Jack. Please sit back and relax as we talk to this week's guest brony. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Into the Spotlight. This is your host, Osaka Jack, and I have to, uh, before we begin, I have to apologize for the lower quality audio today. My main computer is out, so I'm using my backup backup laptop here, and it works, but it doesn't sound as clear, and I apologize for that. But anyway, with me today, I have somebody who is much closer than my usual guests, Sakura Jira. Hello. Konnichiwa. <laughs> How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Oh, good. Yeah. Let's see, technically, uh, let's see, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Konnichiwa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hayao gozaimasu. Hayao gozaimasu. Konbanwa for some people, maybe? <laughs> yeah, for everybody listening, it would be konbanwa. Yeah. Yeah. I'll for stick to English. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yo, what's so. up? Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Try teaching that to a student once, but it didn't go over very well. Uh... But too much <laughs> accent on the S. So. <laughs> like, um, okay, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> One of the most challenging lessons I ever taught was I tried to teach a student how to properly use the word duh. Oh, duh? Like, duh. Mm-hmm. Like, duh? Oh. Yeah, they couldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you could find it in the dictionary as well. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. I, it, well, that's, you know, specialty. If, it, if it's not in the dictionary, I can teach it very, very well, usually. Uh-huh. But, no, teaching duh was beyond my abilities. <laughs> Did it work? Um, no, not really. Because oh. they kept trying to pronounce it with an A. So, da. I'm like, uh, 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 uh lowercase. Uh, da. Uh, all right, whatever. There you go. <laughs> Japanese <laughs> pronunciations. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, we I, I've danced around it, but yes, you are in Japan, just as I am. Yeah, in Tokyo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or should I say Trakyo? <laughs> oh, I, right, right, okay, yes. Because I don't know I, I how you know. say it in Pony or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there was a joke at some point, wasn't there? Yeah. Trakyo or... Trakyo or... Trakyo. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like tchotchkes to me. <laughs> I just want to pull out some flare buttons. <laughs> Sounds like TrotCon. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> TrotCon's doing well this year. They've got 10 million people resident. This is this is very good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I could go. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, as of yet, no pony conventions in Japan. We have one tomorrow, though. <laughs> Convention? Not really. But there's uh, 95 people coming, so... Wow, is it that many? I hadn't yeah. seen the actual numbers. This is on the Twitter, the official one, and 95 people are coming, so it could be something close to it, but I'm, I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm still going to call it a meetup for now, but 95 people for the first meetup, I'm, that's, that's rather yeah, impressive, that's I would say. Impressive number, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I know at least two other people that cannot attend would like to, but really have busy, busy schedules right now and do apologize for not going. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's me and uh, my friend Wendy in Tokyo. So, yeah, we apologize. Oh, we can't okay. go. <laughs> we can't go. We have very busy schedules. But mm. 95 people, I somehow doubt this will be the last one. I don't think so. Yeah. That would be a travesty. Yeah. Okay, so you were... I'm sorry, I'm really not uh, familiar. Were you born in Japan, or... I'm not sure. Uh, well, I'm basically... Uh, not basically. <laughs> I'm Japanese. <laughs> okay, okay. I am a Japanese, and... Well, many people ask me why I can speak English. Right. Is um, Well, my father, hmm. when he was young, he loved America. Okay. And most of his musics he listened to was 80s rock music. And all I approve, stuff. I approve, yeah. And, but he couldn't get the education in Japan because English at that time was not so, what should I say? Prolific? Yeah. Okay. So he gave his dream to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, and um, when I was born, hmm. uh, he was about to uh, make my name Roger. Okay. Which is not, thankfully. <laughs> no offense to the Rogers out there, but in Japan, <laughs> mm. having a Roger being Japanese is not 
a good idea, I guess. I, I one of the schools that I taught at, um, the owner's daughter, she named her Maria. Oh, okay. Which it kind of worked, but at the same time, everybody was convinced they were Catholic. And okay. uh, <laughs> yeah, so well, he didn't make me Roger. Okay. Yeah, and but he wanted um, me and my brother. Mm. My brother and I, should I say, um, to <laughs> <laughs> English, <laughs> yeah. to speak English, okay, because okay. it was a dream that he couldn't get. Right, right. So he sent me to an international school in Japan. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, and I went to seven. Wow. Each year I changed schools just because my English level went up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I had to uh, like the schools had to change schools and mm. yeah and I went to I learned English until sixth grade okay okay of elementary right so my elementary school days were completely English gotcha and then after that I went to a Japanese school with a little international program okay okay yeah where you have uh one hour five days. Mm-hmm. Of English class, which is like a normal English class in any other uh, international school. Right, right. Yeah, and yeah, and high schools. Basically, uh, the Japanese school I went, I went through middle school and high school. Okay. And I am a university student right now. Gotcha. Who has just turned twenty? I might add, which is the legal adult age in Japan. I just had my coronation, and I grew a pair of wings of ninking. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone knows what Nanking is. <laughs> the, uh, somebody uh, actually mentioned it. Uh, one of my students mentioned it uh, when I was speaking about you. I, I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to be interviewing him later. And I said, oh, yeah, he just turned 20, and he was complaining about the extra responsibilities he has. <laughs> and she, honest to God, looked at me and said, well, that's why we can drink alcohol. Well, the sad part just is that... Uh, flat voice, just, that's why we can drink alcohol. As if uh, that's the only reason adults are allowed. Well, then I don't get the fun part, because oh. I'm sort of close to allergic to alcohol. Oh, the allergy. Oh. Yeah, not allergy, but um, pretty weak. Right, right. Like, one gulp mm-hmm. of beer would really make me... <laughs> that's not rare in Japan, it's, there's, uh, uh, it's, it's not everybody, but it's not rare. I know quite a few Japanese people who have it. It's called allergy, but you're right. It's not exactly an allergy. Yeah. My brother is aller- allergic, I guess, because oh, okay. um, when he takes a shot, you get you put those... um The rubbing alcohol? Yeah, mm-hmm. and it becomes red, and it, like, it becomes uh, it's soul and all stuff. And I uh, recommend ice water. Ice water doesn't work as well as the rubbing alcohol, but can numb, just like rub you know, a piece of ice and ice water on the area right before the shot. Oh. If you tell the doctor you have the allergy, he can do that. Maybe I'll try to tell the doctor next time, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I recommend it. <laughs> I've, I've had over 400 shots in my life, so I know how they work. <laughs> I had a lot of allergies as a child, and in junior high school, we got me allergy shots twice a week for four mm. years. So at this point, you know, somebody can give me a shot and, oh, I forgot the alcohol. Yeah, it's no problem. It's okay. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> Man, I really don't like allergies. In Japan, you have the pollen fever. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, yeah, hey, yeah. Fever. yeah. Oh, that is like. <laughs> I uh, some aspects of my apartment I don't like so much. Um, but one is that, and this sounds odd, but I am four blocks away from the nearest tree. Uh, which at some point, like, oh, that's kind of bad. But at the same time, I can live through spring. <laughs> I don't explode in a bubble of snot out of my face. You are lucky. <laughs> you don't know how many tissue boxes I go through one spring. <laughs> oh, I, I I still buy an entire five pack of tissue boxes every spring just in case because and oh, okay. one fits in my bag for on the train because that's when it will hit me. Yeah, <laughs> that is when it will hit you. <laughs> But, I, yeah, I do know uh, some people have been asking, oh, where's he from? He must have been born in America or raised in America. Yeah, I saw that in the comments, too, and I was like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> have you been to the States? I've been to the States on vacations. Gotcha, gotcha. Like, ten years ago. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Last time I went was Maryland and Washington, D.C. when I was 10, I guess? I think everybody's required to go to Washington, D.C. when they're 10. You know? Oh, really? <laughs> Everybody that I talked to, oh, yeah, we visited the Smithsonian when I was 10. And that's Ooh, it. I don't know. My, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we went there for my father's work. Okay, okay. Yeah, at that time, so... Um and we went through the, all the museums <laughs> around there and that's a, that's the last time I went to America. Okay, okay. <laughs> I went to Australia once though. Oh, very nice. I have three been years ago. I was used as a translator though. Nice. <laughs> Did you get paid? No, it was my friend. So uh, oh, okay, well there you go. That's a friend is okay. Friend is okay. Yeah, friend is okay. I was used as a translator. He made me do everything by the trains. I do not understand what. The, the signs on the train, like, how do you buy tickets? <laughs> and I was, like, looking in front of the ticket machine, and I was like, what the world is this? <laughs> oh, God, help me. And then I successfully bought it. Good. And then I found out that there was a place where you can buy the ticket from a oh. person, <laughs> a counter. And I was like, oh. <laughs> that That is my exact experience on the Japanese bullet train. I kept trying to use the oh. machine for, like, 20 minutes and had to ask for help, and then... I saw somebody going up to the counter and buying one. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> we'll try that next time. Yeah. I have to ask, though. I have to ask. The ultimate test. <laughs> Can you use and understand Pig Latin? Understand Pig Latin? And can you use Uh. Okay. Guess not. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's, that's the ultimate test. It, it, it's, a, it's a hint that I give all of my friends if you're traveling abroad. If you want somebody who is not a native speaker to not understand you, Pig Latin works. Oh. And it's, every language has its own version of it. I know uh, Spanish, you have to put the phrase pa, so nada becomes napa dapa. Oh. And uh, English Pig Latin, you take the first letter, put it at the end, and add the word a. So can becomes an k. An k. I don't know that one. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Well, I am a Japanese, so... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and English is my second language, so... <laughs> Shogunai. <laughs> Shogunai, absolutely. <laughs> this is, it's interesting because usually when I speak to people, they have no idea about the pony scene in Japan. But oh. you already know it as well as I do, so really, yeah. there's less to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have ponies. Mm-hmm, indeed. The problem is the airing time. Yes. Yes, That's I would agree. the only problem I have with Bushiroad. Well, you get it a few days before I do. Yeah, uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, so you've already, you, uh, as of recording this interview, you've already seen Aula Wishes' episode a few days ago. I just saw yeah. it uh, seven hours ago. That would be... Wait. 20 in the morning. Really? <laughs> Six twenty in the morning on Saturdays. Yep. Wait, who would be awake at that time? Well, I am now, but <laughs> on a Saturday, I I don't know. There's a hint of nostalgia there because getting up early Saturday morning to watch cartoons. Uh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. Sure. I, you know, granted, I would prefer it was you know. 10 or 11 a.m. so I could sleep in on my weekend, mm. but eh, I'm not going to complain because it's on. Yeah. At least we have it, so yeah. We yes, can't complain. Yeah. Well, we could, but who would listen? <laughs> <laughs> How has the... Um, have, you, have you noticed any uh, recognition in other people? As in... In Pony. Yeah, like, uh, somebody has... Uh, You've heard it in a conversation somewhere, or... Oh, in Japan? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Twitter, I followed some Japanese bronies, and they, well, they talk about ponies a lot, and, well, in public, uh, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. When I went to the, um, uh, the Tokyo Toy Show... Right. Yeah. Um, there were some girls wearing Celestia T-shirts. Oh, nice. Small ones. Yeah, with their mother. Okay. Okay. And I was the only 
man there, <laughs> shall I say. <laughs> and, yeah, and it was pretty hard to buy toys there. But, yeah, I was like, fine, I'm, I'm a brony, I'm proud of it, just, just do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They'll, they'll notice I'm a brony, so yeah, I just went and bought. Please give me the Celestia and Luna doll now. <laughs> <laughs> I I cannot tell you how disappointed I was uh, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago uh-huh. when I called the uh, um, Nakajima Corporation. Oh yeah. The, uh, the- yeah. For those who don't know, you can give background and then I'll tell what happened two weeks ago. But. Well, so there's the. Um, Nakajima Corporation is the plush maker for the crane, tool, crane toys? No, not crane toys. That's uh, uh oh, oh, the foodie. Oh, oh, those toys. Like, the big ones. Yeah. Uh, was it the ones on the toy show ones? Yes. Oh. Yeah, uh, at the Tokyo Toy Show, they showed, um, Nakajima Corporation showed what they had planned for plushies. I haven't seen them, but I've heard everybody that I talked to that has seen them said they were amazing, or they looked really they cute. Were, they were amazing. I mean, they were really show accurate from what I saw, because um, uh, their body shape was basically pretty show accurate. To these, yeah, and um, their horns, mm-hmm. unicorn horns, they were pretty pointy. Wow. And the mane was, man, man Rainbow Dice's mane was brilliant. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Nakajima said they were going to do it, and they showed them at the Tokyo Toy Show. Apparently, they didn't get that many large orders. Um, so when I called them two weeks ago just to mm. inquire, you know, my boss was actually asking, is it possible for us to get a few hundred of these and sell them? I'm like, I don't know. Let's check. We were thinking of maybe giving them a- maybe giving them away for, you know, students and promotional things. Mm. So we called, and they said, no, they didn't get enough large orders, so they decided to not uh, proceed. Uh, I think... I really wanted one of those. Yeah. Oh, man. Possibly next year, if if interest can maintain, possibly next year, but for now, no. Oh, okay. Bummer. So the only pony toys we have are the... Uh, crane game plushies by Hudigu. Uh I like those ca- uh, game uh, crane toys, but um, they're really not show accurate. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, so I have a couple of them right next to me. Mm-hmm. They don't look like ponies. They don't look like ponies, but um, I'll mention this. Uh, uh, my guest a few weeks ago, Casey, oh. said that the face looks like a fraggle. <laughs> Which made it, like, 500% cuter in my mind. Before she said that, I was like, yeah, okay. And then she said, Fraggle. I, oh, it's a Fraggle pony, and I will never let it go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks different. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, and, yeah, you know what? I, I'll go ahead and mention it, because it is September. I've seen what uh, their schedule was supposed to be July. They had... Uh, Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, and uh, Fluttershy. Uh Then August, they released uh, Rarity, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie. Yeah. September, um, they didn't release any new uh, plushies, but they did release cell phone screen cleaners. Oh, the one with the ribbons on their Yes, have you seen it? I saw pictures of them. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. But I haven't seen it anywhere in the game center so far. Neither have I, and I've actually checked the uh, online maps, and as of yet, there's nothing in, t- in Osaka. Uh, maybe you gotta wait. <laughs> well, they said released in September. I'm like, yay, in September! Nothing yet. Dang it. <laughs> Please. Oh, because those are actually vectored ponies, so... Yeah. Yeah, they look much And they fun. have bow ties. Yeah, that's really cute. And Applejack's bow tie is on her ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I gotta get those. <laughs> gotta get them all. Gotta get them all. Gotta get them all. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> I don't know if people who don't live here really understand how starved Japan is for pony stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Take my word for it. Really, I am so hungry for ponies. Exactly. And yeah. when they came to Japan, I was like, 
I, I was speechless, basically. Mm-hmm. Yep. And you get this feeling that you're really left out from the whole crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, you look at Twitter and everyone's like, Brodycon, Equestria LA, Everfree Northwest, yay, whatever. I'm, you're, I'm like, in Tokyo. <laughs> in the train. Yeah. Yeah. Squashed by these salary men. <laughs> I don't have that problem. They tend to avoid me. Really? <laughs> I am very large, even for an American. So, yeah, it, if, it, if I'm on a train in the morning, chances are I'm not in a happy mood. So I've got, oh. I don't intend to, but I get a scowl on my face. And I'm just kind of sitting down. Like, oh, let's not, not sit next to the foreigner. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe I should try that. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend it works best with sunglasses, a face mask, and headphones. So complete mm. sensory deprivation. Well, you don't I see them, you don't hear them, you don't smell them, you don't taste them, if that's an option. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, though. <laughs> no, no. Tasting? <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Well, I do wear sunglasses in, on the train sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if it works. Uh, partially. There, it used to be, you know, in Japan, it used to be the only people who would wear sunglasses would be gangsters. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the case anymore. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because, um, well, my father uh, has a couple of gangster-looking glasses, sunglasses. And, cool. well, he basically gave them all to me. Cool. And um, so, well, most of these sunglasses were bought in America, in, like in the Target. <laughs> okay, okay. And... Um, there's one gla- uh, one sunglasses where he um, turned the lens angle like really low. I don't okay. know if you can imagine it, but um, okay, okay. and it's gold. <laughs> wow, and, classy. Yeah, and once I wore that, mm. and I was walking around Tachikawa <laughs> in Tokyo. Yeah, and basically people um, made a path for me. <laughs> They would look at me, and they made a path for me. And those catchers, um, where you, they come to, like, um, you know, those, you know, catchers, like, as in, like, alcohol catchers? Yes. Yeah, like, they, what do you call them? <laughs> catchers? Yeah, yeah, good enough. Yeah, they would not ask me to come to their store. <laughs> they, just, <laughs> they would just basically avoid me. Mm. For anybody that doesn't know, uh, one of the uh, basic advertising techniques in Japan is for a shopkeeper to stand outside their store, clap loudly, and yell what they have inside their store in the hopes that you'll they'll get your attention and you'll come in. <laughs> yeah. I, frankly, I never appreciate it when a shopkeeper is yelling in my ear that they have nice things to sell. I would rather go to the quiet shops. But, you know, I'm not the majority over here, so, hey, sell to who has the money, right? Yeah. And if they're cheap, then, I don't know. Yeah, if, if they are cheap, then yeah. prices will speak for themselves, I find. They don't have to scream them, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah... People don't come unless you scream in Japan. That's true, yes. Uh, Except at English schools. I mean, not many English schools are popular if the teacher stands outside. English is here! Coming into English! <laughs> well, um, Japanese people are really concerned about their English level, but I think. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not automatic, but. <laughs> well, people have to learn it somewhere, so. That's true. One of. There's actually a recent commercial out, and I hate it myself, but it is funny. It's it, it's an English school. It's, you know, advertising. I can't remember which one. But it has different people, like, in their everyday life, all of a sudden have to use English. And one of them is a um, uh, driving test instructor. Oh. And he, like, comes out to the car, and he opens the door, and in Japanese he greets them and says, okay, today we're doing the driving test. And then it cuts over, and it's this blonde girl. And she says, hi, I'm from New York, and this is my first time in Japan. And he's, like, nodding, like, <laughs> and he obviously doesn't understand a word she says, and she's just going on and on and on and on and on. And then it cuts to him learning English at a English school, and then coming back to that, and him being able to say a few words edgewise. Funny commercial, but at the same time, I'm like, that's a driving test. You're kind of expected to speak Japanese there. It's not his responsibility to learn English. 
true. <laughs> yeah, there are some um, driving schools that offer English lessons. Yes, this is true. Yeah, yeah, because the one I went had uh, an English lesson. Oh wow! And yeah, I first I was um, concerned which one to go. <laughs> right, one, right. Because I heard that um, Japanese um, driver uh, testing dudes are not really nice. Uh, no, they're not. Yeah, they're not nice. <laughs> so uh, maybe the English one, I'll be like, uh, bet, like in the advantage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can yeah. tell you, um, in Gunma, the written, in, the written driving test, the Japanese written driving test is like 150 questions, uh, yeah. multiple choice, true, false. The English test is 10 true, false questions. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. <laughs> And it's not just English, it's like any foreign language. They have like 12 or 15 foreign languages of the test ready. Ten true-false questions. <sighs> Wait, um, so you can only make one mistake then? No, you can make three. And you're really? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Yep. <sighs> <laughs> so that's how I got my driving. Granted, my license, I didn't go for the car license. I just went for the uh, scooter. Uh, so I didn't have to do the actual driving test part of it. I just had to pass the written test. Because I don't have a car, you know. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> ten questions? Yep, that's it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I get my time back sitting in that desk for one hour. <laughs> uh, well, we did hint at it a bit. But, yes, uh, starting tomorrow, there will be a Japanese pony meetup. Yeah, uh, Japan, but, uh, Pony Convention is the name. Yes. And, yeah. What, what is the name that they decided on? Japan Pony Con? Uh, Japan Pony Convention. <laughs> yeah, Japan Pony Con. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's the first meetup. I, well, not the first meetup, but the first big meetup. Right. Yeah, in Japan. And, well, I... Looking forward to it. I don't know how it's going to turn. They say they have panels. I've seen that. Yeah, they apparently have a schedule. Who in the world are they going to? <laughs> like in like in the big ones in America, they like have voice actors, the real ones, right? And yeah. some uh, famous bronies. Um. Yeah, they have uh, fan guests and yeah. uh, show guests. I'm quite sure they don't have show staff. <laughs> they should have one. I'm rather sure of that. Yes. Yeah, but in Japan, like, we don't have any of those people, and the brony community is starting to grow. Yes, yes. And I don't know if the voice acting uh, actors from the actual Japanese MLP would come. I'm doubtful they would go now. Possibly get a little bit larger. They might. Yeah. They might. They might, but... Right now, no. See, I I think... Gosh, I don't know a way to say this without sounding rude. So, anyway, here goes. <laughs> I think um, the um, English My Little Pony voice actors, I think most people didn't really know who they were until Pony came out. I mean, a lot of them have a very long and wonderful career, and if you say, oh, did you know that she voiced uh, Madeline? Oh, my gosh! Uh, you know, they get excited. But uh, by name, I don't think they recognized a lot of them. Well, But in yeah. Japan... <laughs> The voice actors are well known for their names. Yeah, I think so. But I'm not a really animation, uh, like anime fan, mm-hmm. so I really didn't know what these people are. But I, I just like um, was looking forward to how close they could get <laughs> to the yeah. actual original one. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so my friend who's not a brony mm. that knows uh, some animation, like he's a Gundam fan. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, and he said that. This voice sounds familiar, and it's like <laughs> there. And it turns out she's one of the famous anime uh, anime um, voice actors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and it's, yeah. So, do you remember which character was it that sounded familiar? Uh, Twilight. Okay, yeah. Twilight. Yeah. yeah, Twilight. I don't know. I forgot the uh, anime. Okay. But yeah, he said he the like, voice actor, and I think it was Fluttershy. Fluttershy is the voice of Kyubei from the immensely popular uh, Madoka series. 
Uh, it's okay. You don't have to know. I'm just saying. <laughs> ring a bell, it's, but <laughs> it's real. It's got a movie coming out in October. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Lots of hype about that, and it is really good. I watched it, but yeah, yeah, she's famous, and you. you I guarantee you, you know the voice of Apple Blue. Uh, because usually she only says three syllables. P, ka, chu. <laughs> you gotta be kidding! Wait, that's I, the first I'm time. Joking. Really? I'm not joking. Yeah, <laughs> Apple Bloom is Pikachu. I gotta tell my mother that. <laughs> my mom is in love with Apple Bloom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That's interesting. I just blew your mind, didn't I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> blew my mind in the middle. <laughs> One o'clock in the morning. But anyway, the point is that I, I don't think it'll be as easy to get voice actors to smaller conventions in Japan. Mm, that's true. I hope. I mean, I think it'd be a nice thing. But I wish. I did, actually, on Twitter this week, um, I offered Peter New and and Andrea Lidman... I said, we will give you your weight in sushi if you come over to a Japan uh, pony convention. And Andrea Lindman responded with, well, time to gain some weight. <laughs> that's a yes. <laughs> like, all right, that's an indirect yes. I'll go with it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I wish they would visit Japan if they have a chance, though. I hope so. Yeah. I, I think at this point there will be enough of a greeting for them. So, you know, yeah. uh, you can come and... The, um, most of the Japanese bronies, well, some of them I know. Well, I've never met them, but um, they really uh, like the original voice actors. Sure. And um, even the reaction video, if you saw, um, um, they were pretty like um, knowledgeable of the voice actors over there and how different they were to the Japanese ones. So yeah, that's true. Yeah. So I wish. Yeah, you. I, I bet they'll get a greeting. More than a greeting, I guess. <laughs> I think I think at this point, um, I was in the reaction video too. I think I should point out. I'll admit fully, absolutely <laughs> fully, the Japanese Applejack has really come along since the first True. episodes. Yeah, I've really gotten used to it, and she's really um, fit in. Yes, should I say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's really good now. She's she's Applejack. I think I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think it started at the episode where Applejack and Apple Bloom are interacting. I think maybe interacting with other members of the F- Apple family kind of gave her the family vibe. I don't know. Maybe. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, she does really sound like Applejack, because the first time I saw her, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, first few episodes, <laughs> it was, eh, that's, eh, yeah. But now it's like, oh, yeah, okay, no problem. That's good, that's good. I actually like Applejack. Oh, yeah. More than the other ones, I guess. Really? I'm uh, still a Japanese Rainbow Dash fan just because of the laugh. I really like uh, the laugh. The, laugh. Mm-hmm. the one thing I'd really um not comfortable with Rainbow Dash is that she says boku. Yeah. Yeah, and um boku is not really feminine. It's not. It's the yeah. masculine version. Yeah, so... And I understand they were trying to do the basic thing of making her a tomboy. Yeah. But, yeah. They went too far, I guess, because my mother, when she saw it, um, she said, "Is this a boy?" <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, uh, my boss's son loves to watch uh, Pony, and Rainbow Dash is his favorite. But every week, he will ask his mother, "Are you sure Rainbow Dash is a girl?" <laughs> yeah. Yep, we're sure. We're very, very sure. She is a mother. <laughs> I mean, she is a female. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I messed that up. That's all right. <laughs> well, we just mentioned it real fast, but something that you've done recently. Yeah. Uh, is, well, not not recently, but something that was released recently. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's not like you threw it together in a weekend, but... No. The uh, Japonese React to... Season 1 premiere. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was a hard work. It came out really... I mean, it really looks professional. Thank you. <laughs> it looks good, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I was afraid it would be, like, um, not as good as the other ones. I, I have to admit, when you asked me to do it, at first I was like, ah, oh, a React video, because those are rare on YouTube. <laughs> but I did it, and, you know, I did it as best as I could, and I sent it yeah. in, and I said, well, here's open. And it came out just fine. So, yes, I was very happy about that. I was glad to meet your expectations. (laughs) (laughs) 
far surpassed expectations. Cool. Which is good, because, yeah. Actually, I half expected to send it in and then get, like, messages in my inbox every other day. You said this. What does it mean? Like, uh. <laughs> I think I'm fine with English. <laughs> yes, I, I understand that, but at the time, I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it was pretty um, tough, because... Uh, should I explain the whole yeah, sure. thing? All right, all right. So basically, um, I I'm not I haven't been in Broly for a year. It's only been like seven months still. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I became a Brony this February. Mm, okay. Well, I admitted myself as a Brony this February. That works. Yeah. yeah that works. <laughs> and I started watching ponies in December last year. Okay. And uh, so I was really um, hyped about ponies, mm-hmm. and well, uh, then I found out that it was coming to Japan, mm. and then I found out there were bronies in Japan, <laughs> and I was like, maybe we could do something with this. Mm-hmm. And I was, um, I, I'm a fan of AC Race Best um, Bronies React, right? And so I asked him three days before the airing of My Little Pony in Japan. Mm-hmm. If I could make a Bronies react in Japanese, right, right, and I wasn't expecting a reply, mm-hmm. but he did, and he said, "Sure, yeah," and <laughs> I was really excited. And the problem was I didn't have any friend Brony friends in Japan, <laughs> so um, I was like, "What should I start with?" Right, and right. Uh, my brother, I have a brother. Mm-hmm. And he's also in the reaction video, if some people noticed. Right, right. And uh, I got him, mm-hmm. and I had another person who was a little into, was starting to get into ponies. Right. Yeah, and, uh, but there was only three people. Mm. Mm. And three people is not enough. To no, do unless they're in video. the same room. Yeah, unless in the same room, it's impossible. So I... Right. Went to I, w- I typed in Mighty Toruponi in Japanese, <laughs> and then I came up to this blog, and it was a Japanese brony. Oh, nice! And he had a Twitter, and he had like a uh, hundred plus followers. Oh, wow! Yeah, and I asked him about um, the reaction video, and he was pretty excited about it. I guess <laughs> he wasn't in it though. Right, he wasn't right. in. It, but he helped me, and he. Uh, tweeted about the reaction video, and I received three people. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, well, one person dropped out. Oh. So I only got two, which was... Did they uh, say why, or just time, or embarrassment, or... I think they were worried, I guess, because um, okay. it's not usual in Japan for someone you don't really know or met or even talk to mm. to send your video with your face... This is true. This is true. Yeah, and thinking back, yeah, I think they really, I'm really thankful that they trusted me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, and yeah, so they, I got their Skype and they gave me the Nerf videos and nice. Yeah, but I only had five people, Mm -hmm. and um, I wanted more, at least six. (laughs) At least match the main six. Yes. Yeah. So I remembered looking at one of the panels at, uh, was it Everyfree Northwest, I guess? You contacted me before Everfree. Uh, uh, the, uh, sure. way before. I was like two years, the, the, the Everfree Northwest, like a year ago. Okay. The one okay. before you went, yeah. Um, and they mentioned about Japanese bronies. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, uh, I think it was you, uh, asked, uh, through Twitter, mm-hmm. one of the voice actors, a question. Right. And then they started up talking about Japanese bronies, and then... Yes, uh, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that yeah. question exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was... Was that Final Draft? That was sitting um, I asked through Vigilant Watch, who was uh, monitoring the Everfree Network chat, uh, okay. uh, as it was being live-streamed. It was Final Draft was interviewing the voice actors. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, My question was to Andre Lipman. Yep, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, Final Draft started talking about Japanese bronies, and right, right. Uh, they said that, um, and Nicole Oliver mentioned um, this Ken person. That's right, yes. Yeah. And I was like, Osaka Jack and Ken, they're in Japan? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, maybe we can do something with this. And I was like, I was looking through Twitter, and I searched Osaka Jack, and then I found you. 
I hope there's not a lot of Osaka Jacks out there. <laughs> there's only one. I like to think that it's somewhat of an original name. <laughs> it's original. <laughs> and I found okay. you, and um, I sent a email, mm-hmm. and I got your reply. And I tried looking for uh, this Ken person, mm-hmm. but I couldn't find him. <laughs> oh. there, there were many Kens. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of Kens, I would think. Yeah, it's... and right after I was um, editing, mm-hmm. I found this Ken person. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and he's basically the one of the uh, helpers, supporters of the Japan Pony Convention. Okay, okay. Yeah, and so maybe if we do a next one, I can ask him. Yeah, that. definitely. Yeah. Talk to him tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. And um, I also uh, heard Black Griffin... Mm. Was Japan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I couldn't. Uh, I was already rendering, so I couldn't really. Um, I found out that Brett Griffin was in Japan mm. a little late. <laughs> right. So I don't know if he does watch Japanese ponies, but um, well, and actually, he's left Japan. I mean, he's oh. back in the states now. So uh, when you re- yeah. by the time you released it, he had already left Japan. Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I could still ask him. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't was know. in Japan. Yeah. Was in Japan. <laughs> Have to be in Japan to be a Japan pro. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So basically, um, that's what happened, and I received videos, and yeah, process took on, but I had many problems with the computer. Right. Yeah, the laptop couldn't render all the videos, mm-hmm. so I made a computer. <laughs> And I rendered that. Didn't hear that, people. He actually made a oh, computer. I made a computer. <laughs> I paid a thousand and six hundred dollars to make a computer, <laughs> a high-end model, mm-hmm. and I put all the Premiere and all the After Effects and all that stuff in there. Yeah. And it took me. Well, I planned this reaction video at uh, March. No, not March. Uh, Say, April. April. Yeah, April. Yeah. yeah, and well, five months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I remember actually when I recorded this, I was a bit nervous because up until that point, nobody had seen me. Oh, really? Yeah, nobody had seen me, and I thought, you know, hey, if he can do this in like a few months, then maybe it can be released about the same time I'm at Everfree Northwest with my game panel. So I, I thought, it was, oh, okay, well, you know, maybe it'll be about the same time. And, I you know, I'm not blaming. I'm not <laughs> just saying that was my thought process. Yeah. But no, it, yeah, it worked out. So Everfree Northwest was the first time people saw me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I was going to upload it way earlier, <laughs> but well, basically that was the first time I actually used um, uh, Premiere and uh, all those stuff. Right. And looking through tutorials on how to make a video. Oh. Fresh start. <laughs> Is that easy? When you have no, it's not. No, it's school. not. School. <laughs> there's, there's a definite learning curve to it. And I really apologize for the late upload, but yeah. It is good. I highly recommend people watch it, and not just because I'm in it. But even parts <laughs> beyond me are interesting. Yeah, and I really uh, do hope to make a, a next one. Mm. Yeah, because uh, I saw in the comments that people are really happy about it, and yeah. I wasn't expecting this much, like, um, attention? this much, yeah, attention, and, and I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is, in Japan, that there is no waiting game, yeah. I think. Yeah. So, we're almost at the end of season one, actually, it, it's right. two so- weeks. Well, um, so let's see, today is Saturday, three days, you get to see Pink Amina. In yeah. Uh, I get to see her in a week, and then ten days, you get to see Grand Galloping Gala. And yeah. And seventeen days, you get to see Discord. So that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I would really like to make one for the season finale and the season premiere. Oh, yeah. But. We'd have to choose one, because choose yeah, both one. just can't do it. Well, you know what? I, I would say this, okay? And okay. Um, I was so disappointed when Winter Wrap-Up was not translated. Yeah. It's, it's very disappointing for me. I understand why they did it, 
I mean, it's just yeah. a difficult song, but at the same time, I was rather disappointed. Mm-hmm. We're coming up on the season one finale, which had a lot of songs in it, and one of the best songs ever, At the Gala. Yeah. I would say if they don't translate At the Gala, then no way. Don't do... Don't include that in a react, because the entire react would be, what the... Hey! <laughs> yeah. I'm expecting English Gala in that one. I hope we get a Japanese one. I really do. I yeah, really they do. Really, they, trans, uh, they dub it Japanese in the smaller ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, smaller uh, songs like... Um, like the Pinkie Pie's share song. Well, all of the songs so far, except Winter Wrap Up, have been translated. And um, uh, the uh, suited for success. Um, oh, that's uh, right. What was that? That's right. Uh, forgot yeah, the Art of the Dress. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, not looking so good. That's a shame. Yeah. That's a shame. <laughs> Man, they may as well just release the season three ending now because they won't have to do any more work. You can look forward to yeah. it in two years. Go ahead. <laughs> We're done translating it, because it's like four words that aren't sung, so... Yeah, that was... Well, I think they did a really good job on it, though. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, and then Larson did a really good job. So, it, my recommendation would be to see if they translate it, okay, maybe do the debate, but otherwise, I'd say go for Discord. Yeah, that's my thought, too. Mm-hmm. But they really wanted... Um, us reacting to the winter wrap up. Yeah, I saw that today. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you feel. <laughs> I know how you feel. You could make one, just get everybody who did it just to stare directly in the camera and go, what? <laughs> saw. And then cut the video. Yeah, maybe I can do that. <laughs> just like, you know, six videos, of just everybody has a little screen, and at the same time, we all do, what? <laughs> saw. And then it cuts out. That would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that will work, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a question that I ask in each of my interviews. Uh, okay. What would you say, in all of My Little Pony, what is the one line or one scene that defines you as a brony? Oh, God. <laughs> I should have an you can choose whichever language you like for this. Oh, Okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Um, a line or a, a episode? Line or scene? If you want to choose an episode, that's fine too. Okay. Just can't say the whole series. That's that's chickening out. No, I won't allow that. <laughs> Finds me as a brony. Yeah. Uh, as a brony. <laughs> Or just a scene that really defines you. That Find works, too. Me, okay. Um, it can relate to characters a bit. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, as a brony, um, I really like uh, Sister Hoop Social. Okay. Um, I don't know if it defines me as a brony. Hmm. But it defines me, it's like a lesson to me for being a good brother. I can see that, sure. Yeah, and, well, this goes back of um, the story of me becoming a brony, but um, hmm. I actually converted my bro- uh, brother to a brony. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I don't really really like converting people. Right. Because it's like... It's not a like, religion. Yeah, it's not a religion. It's like forcing, and I don't like forcing yeah. stuff on people. But um, being in Japan with no brony friends, <laughs> <laughs> you can guess how that feels. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> very easily. <laughs> <laughs> can have no one to talk to about brony, uh, about ponies. So I had to make my brother into a brony. <laughs> And, yeah, so, but, well, thanks to the ponies, Mm. me and my brother are more, not, like, uh, more attached. like like, Closer? Yeah, closer. Okay. Yeah, because we don't really talk so much. Right. But every time, there's got to be a single pony somewhere in a day, or more than one. Right. Yeah. 
It's like, have you seen that on Quistry Daily? Yeah, let's go watch it. Snowdrop, <laughs> blah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so being a big brother, sister mm. who's social, um, I really like Applejack in the main six. Okay, okay. Yeah, because... Um, yeah, she's like a role model <laughs> sort of thing of being a... Yeah, so, yeah, I guess Sister Hoop Social. Okay, okay. Uh, I think that that's works. a good answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's your choice. It doesn't matter if the answer's good or not to anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to mention it uh, briefly, but you do have a deviant art. Yes, I do have a deviant art. And one that I wanted to talk about, uh, actually two of them, because I was a bit misled at one point, but um, the Sakura at Sunset phone drawn. Yes. You did that on a phone. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Cow, dude. Uh, there's an application. Uh. Um, the iPhone and iPad have those, um, uh, what is it, paint things where you can vector okay. art. Yeah, but we don't have that, and... The best one is called Sketchbook Mobile. Okay. And it's a very um, good for painting stuff. And when you're on a train, mm. I drew this on the train <laughs> for a whole week and during classes. <laughs> oh, during classes, maybe not so good, but okay. Not so good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I understand, uh, I understand. And um, Trust me, teachers do it too. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's phone drawn. Okay. And it took about, uh, I don't know, eight hours, wow. maybe? It's rather impressive for that amount Thank of time. You. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one you want to know? Well, the other one, it confused me for a bit, because I saw that one, and okay. I saw the title where you said, I drew this on the train over the course of about a week or so. Uh, like, okay. Wow, okay. And then one of the next pictures is, I'm in a payphone. And just for a second, I thought you had drawn this while you were actually in a payphone. Uh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> that's so not I was like, oh, come on phone. now. No, no. <laughs> that's not possible to draw that while you're on hold in a payphone and get somebody to connect. No, no. Oh, actually, uh, I was listening to a song called I'm in a Pain Phone ah. by Maroon 5. Okay, okay. And when I was listening to this... Mm. Um, I was I uh, was watch- actually watching the uh, video of the PV was it PMV okay. <laughs> yeah or and you have these uh, this couple running away mm. and this kind of like related to the the um, shining armor and cadence okay okay and this idea popped up right and I took a pencil a mechanical pencil. <laughs> And um, started drawing, and this is what it came to be. Okay. And, yeah, I mean, it's good, and I appreciate the uh, um, detail. Just, I thought, oh, no, there, there's no way he drew this in a payphone. No, <laughs> no way. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it says uh, I was doing my homework while I was listening to payphone, and <laughs> as a result. <laughs> <laughs> so it's written in the description. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Later I saw the description, but at first I was like, no, no, no way. Yeah, but I tend to draw whenever I can because um, my sketch, uh, not, not my sketch book, my schedule book right. is also my drawing book. Oh, and okay. I posted some of the uh, pictures on uh, DeviantArt, if you can <laughs> see it, um, one with... A Japanese style gate. Yes. And a DeLorean <laughs> time machine. <laughs> and this uh, one with Luna and Celestia. Mm-hmm. I posted this on Twitter. And Tabitha St. Germain favorited it. <laughs> oh, very cool. I, I had this moment, it was during class, and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Isn't it nice to have a fan squee in your mind? Yeah, I was freaking. <laughs> yeah. I was so excited, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I couldn't pay attention to the rest of the class. <laughs> I Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. I've, I've had that when I'm teaching sometimes. I'll be teaching, and then I hear a buzz and look down, and your tweet was favorited by this person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a cool experience. Yeah, and it's really um, uh Cool, cool that um, these uh, voice actors really react to, um, not react, mm-hmm. but interact with us fans. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I can hope that the Japanese voice actors start doing the same thing, because I'm not sure how much they do with their other fandoms, but yeah. oh, that would be cool if they did it with us. <laughs> hope. We can hope. Yep. And it has started. We've got... So you have to represent us that can uh, those of us that cannot go because we're busy with stuff tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, right, right. <laughs> Tell them that I'll do a panel next time of something. I don't know. <laughs> I really help you with that. <laughs> <Panel>. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, well, everybody, we today we've been speaking with Sakura Chida. Uh, thank you so much for coming by. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I apologize for the lower quality audio today. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be able to get a new computer soon. We'll see. I don't know. Yep. Fingers crossed. <laughs> uh-huh. yes. um, so people should follow you on uh, Twitter and YouTube and DeviantArt. Uh, and and I also socially? have a Tumblr. <laughs> also a Tumblr, okay. Right. Yeah, but I don't have any followers on that one, so <laughs> I'm not really yeah. posting stuff on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody... We have been speaking with Sakura Chita. Uh, today right. has been Into the Spotlight with Osaka Jack. We'll catch you next time. Goodbye. Sayonara. <laughs> <laughs>